Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In today's video, we will talk about finding the value of n and r in a permutation. Last time, we have uploaded a video about the fundamental counting principles and the permutation. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gorn. Let's do this topic. So basically guys, I have your problem, wherein the problem goes like this. What is the permutation of 8 objects taken for the time? So as you can see, this is not the main focus of our topic today, but later on, I will do finding the value of N and R in permutation. Gusto ko lang kasi ma-review nyo yung mismong concepto ng permutation. So basically, before we solve this problem, let's review first what is the formula for permutation. We have the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to the n factorial over n minus r factorial. So basically, we have here the given the permutation of 8 objects taken 4 at a time. Your n in this given permutation is 8 while your r is equal to 4. So, given this formula, we can use the formula, this should be 8 factorial over 8 minus 4 factorial. So, before simplify 8 factorial, simplify first your denominator. This will give you 8 factorial over 8 minus 4, that will give you 4 factorial. And to simplify it, we can express 8 factorial as the factors of 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. And we will stop with 4 factorial because we can eliminate 4 factorial in, the, in our denominator with this 4 factorial. So you have 4 factorial, cancel and cancel. And we know that um, 4 times 8 is 40, so you have here 40. And... 7 times 6 is 42, right? So we can multiply 40 and 42. So we can get the answer for this. We have 0, bring down 0. 8, so 4 times 2, that is 8. And 4 times 4, that will give you 16. Therefore, the permutation of 8 objects taken 4 at a time is equivalent to 1680. This is the correct answer for item number one. So in our next example, we will dive in with the missing variable n and r. So stay for problem number two, we have to find the value of r if p quantity 7 comma r is equal to 840. Given the formula of permutation, you have the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equivalent to n factorial over n minus r factorial. We're in, in this given problem, this is your permutation of n objects taken at r at a time that is equivalent to 840. And then your n is equal to 7 while your r is missing. So we need to substitute this value to so this given formula. So we can have 840 is equal to 7 factorial over 7 minus r factorial. And right after substituting those values, we can cross multiply so that we can have 840 times 7 minus r factorial is equal to 7 factorial. And calculating the value of 7 factorial, that will give you 5,040. So dito naman tayo, we have 840 times 7 minus r factorial. Para mas ma-simplify natin to, we can divide the whole equation by 840. So cancel natin to, we still have the 7 minus r factorial. And then this one, pag divide mo to, this will give you 6. 5,040 divided by 840 is equal to 6. And the next step natin dito is to express 6 as factorial. We know that 
3 factorial is equal to 6. So, we can express... Sir, bakit po 6? Kasi 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. And this is equal to 3 factorial. Okay? So, this one is equivalent to 7 minus r factorial over 3 factorial. And dali natin dito yung ikan natin, yung solution natin. If you have 7 minus r factorial over 3 factorial, we can eliminate the factorial symbol by dividing factorial. So we, so we still have 7 minus r is equal to 3. Again, tinanggalin natin yung factorial symbol. So dito, we can eliminate na yung ating, yung ating grouping symbol so that we can transpose this term, oh, okay, sorry, a 7 to the other side of the equation, so you can have negative r is equal to 3, 3 minus 7, so that is negative r is equal to negative 4. We're in multiplying both, both sides of the equation by negative, that will give you r is equal to 4. So, the value of r in this problem is equal to 4. In the next part of our, prob of our video, ang next naman natin hahanapin is yung value ng ating n. Now, in this problem, find the value of n in the permutation or p quantity n comma 3 is equal to 60. So, given that information or this problem, we know that the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equal to 60. And yung r natin, this is your r, your r is equal to 3. So ngayon, paano ngayon yung form na gagamitin natin? Ang form na gagamitin natin is we have the permutation of n objects taken r at a time is that since yung r natin is 3, we need to represent the three numbers in three different ways. So the first integer or the first number is n, the other is n minus 1, and yung isa naman ay n minus 2. Kasi ito yung pinakamalaki, sumunod sa pinakamalaki, sumunod sa mas malaki. Okay? So, again, this is our formula. Ngayon, using this formula, we can, see, we can substitute the value of this one. We have 60 is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. We're in, um, ang next step natin dito is to factor out 60. We're in dapat consecutive numbers sila. Ang factors ng 60 ay 5 times 4 times 3. Sige, so, 5 times 4 is 20 times 3, that is 60. Okay? So, we have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. We're in, pwede na natin itong ano, um, equalize or going equation. We're in your n is equal to 5. At kung mapansin nyo, we're done with this. Ito namang 4 natin. 4 is equal to n minus 1. So simplifying this, transpose natin ito sa kabila, it will give you 4 plus 1 is equal to n. And still, your n is equal to, your n is equal to 5. Check pa rin natin sa isa. We have here n, sorry, 3 is equal to n minus 2. Transpose natin sa kabila ito. That will give you 3 minus, so 3 plus 2 is equal to n. And your n is equal to 5. Therefore, the value of n in this given problem is equal to 5. So I hope na natutunan niyo yung process natin. At first, we... We tried to review uh, how to evaluate a permutation. Second, we tried to solve for the value of r in a permutation. And lastly, we tried to solve the value of n given a, a permutation. So, stay tuned sa ating mga next videos kasi lalo pa natin pupuntahan ibang topics about permutation and combination. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!